Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to call a REST API. We're just going to make a simple call. I'm going to be using this jokes of the day REST API. Here's the extension. Here's the server name we're going to be using. And we're going to be doing this with Google Apps Script on a Google Sheet. So here I got my Google Sheet. The name of my, sh my file is simple API call and my sheet name is main. So I'm going to start by going to tools, script editor, and here I'm going to name my project. I'm going to call it the same as my sheet name or my Google sheet name. So simple API call. Hit OK. I'm going to keep my function name here the same with my function and the first thing I'm going to do is declare my sheet. So with those two statements I'm getting the object of main, my sheet name. Next I'm going to clear out um, the space that we're going to show our, our joke. So I, if I go back over to my sheet here, I'm going to display the joke on A1 and on A3 I'm just going to do the copyright of the REST API. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to clear it out. Basically I'm going to clear out A1 and A3. Next, I'm going to assign my URL string, which would be the URL of the API. And this is basically coming from over here, the JOD, along with this server. And the next thing, I'm going to do the call. I got my response back. Next I'm going to get this into a text form. Next I'm going to declare my data object. Next I'm going to show you what this output looks like coming back. So I'm going to go over to Postman. If if you don't know what Postman is, is you can put your API calls in here and it'll give you back the output of what it looks like. It's a nice tool. It's free. You can download it. But here is our joke of the day one. And the two things I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab the actual text here, which is our joke. And I'm also going to grab the copyright. Those are the two fields. So when you're looking at this, I'm going to go through contents. We go through jokes, and jokes has an array. When you see one of these square brackets, it means it's an array. It can have multiple records. But we're just going to assume there's always going to be one, since we're only going to get one joke back for the joke of the day. So, and I'll show you how we're going to handle that. And then I'm going to grab, and then we have to go through joke, and then go through text. And then with the copyright, we're just going to go to contents and copyright. So that's a little easier. So let's go back over to our script. Next line of code will be the joke. Then we're going to go to contents, jokes, and here's where our array is. So I'm only going to grab the first array. Since there's only one coming back, we're just going to make it a zero. Then we're going to go to joke, and then we're going to go to text. That completes that one. The next we're going to do the copyright. So this one's data, contents, and copyright. And that's the end of that one. So we got our two things that we wanted. 
Now we're just going to display them. So there it is. We're going to display the joke on A1 and the copyright on A3. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we're going to go ahead and run it. Now we're going to go through our authorization. We're going to review permissions. We're going to select our account. We're going to click advanced. We're going to go to go to simple API call. We're going to allow it to edit, create, and delete. So we're going to scroll to the bottom and hit allow. And there it's finished. We go back to our sheet. And now we have the joke in A1. And we have the copyright in A3. So that concludes this video. Um, I do have another video where it's a little more sophisticated and calling an API. You can check the tag above, but that one uses an API key. If you want more examples of how I do these API calls. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.